Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. Um, one, we're in the car. Yep. <laughs> um, we'll address that in a second. And two, it is not a reaction video. We are going to be talking about four things. Yep, four things. That Brits secretly, Brits secretly want to do in America. So this is before we're going to get in the comments. I'm a Brit. I don't want to do that. This is our opinion, what we want to do, and then kind of what we just think of the general public in Britain, our perceptions. Mm -hmm. We understand that maybe 90% of it don't, but for 10% yeah. that we've met, obviously we haven't met 10% yeah. of the UK, but do you know what I mean? The people yeah. we've met and our vibes, this is what we think. We're in the car because Archie had his jabs yesterday and he has been screaming the <laughs> fact down literally tonight. He's caught to 10. We sat down to record, he's been screaming. So we've, we've gone out for a drive. He's now asleep, isn't he? Yeah, he's fast asleep. In so the back. Thought, um, do this in the car. <laughs> we thought we can record him in the car because if he wakes up, we can, we can carry on driving. And um, if not, then we, you guys have got a video. And if we get back and we can record, you'll get a reaction tonight. Yeah. Uh, if not, it'll just, just be, be this. this. Um, so this is, how many things? Four, four things? Four things. I think it's four. I think we've yeah, talked about four. four. We were driving around and we came up with a few things. Uh, so do you want to go with number one? Yeah, so I'll start with sports. See, this may be confusing, but, but maybe not. Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like a lot of British people are going to be like, if you're watching this, what's the difference between American and British sports? Like, do you know what I, I mean? I think, I think a lot, like my mum, when I was explaining to her about the baseball game and everything, she didn't understand how big yeah, the big. sports is. I thought, I was thinking about it from a different angle. I was okay. thinking, a British soccer fan, yeah. very proud of the sport. And yeah, like, completely proud. And I, I feel like 90%, I mean, we watched a video where that soccer fan went to an American college yeah, game. Yeah. And although he enjoyed it, mm -hmm. people in the comments said it, he was like niggling here and there with yeah. comments and stuff like that because yeah. I think the pride of a lot of British people are like no yeah. soccer's I'm calling it soccer for you legends I call it football obviously but soccer's the best sport yeah. is what they'll say best fans best atmospheres mm -hmm. and they kind of refuse it but I think in the back of their mind they're also kind of like I want to experience a American football game yeah. but they don't openly say that yeah they don't want to admit they don't want to admit they're like, they're like oh no, nah, soccer's way better the well I, I think it's because different it's, yeah it's different it's I completely guess it's different not... There's not a there's not a best or worst because it's personal preference at the end of the day. It's personal, personal preference. Personal preference. Com I think completely but different they're atmospheres. Two different. You you can't put them in the same category because they're not the same. Definitely, and I think a Brit just secretly, not always. Like you mm -hmm. say, I'm I'm happy. I can't wait to go. We're going to a baseball game. We are going to baseball. When we come to America, it's going to be super exciting. I just exciting. can't wait. Like we went to Madison um, Square Garden. Yeah, that was a York, great experience. Which was, you know, it lived up to be everything that you you'd expect yeah. it to be from. From but what we've heard about it. Completely but, different to soccer. Yeah, but well, I am excited to go experience. to baseball because it's going to be like an outdoor stadium. Yeah, definitely. Not the same vibe. Like, I don't think it's going to have the same vibe as Manchester Square Garden. Oh, no. Oh, but I'm excited for a proper sports game. Like, obviously, but they, we went to basketball, didn't we? Yeah, we went to basketball. Ice hockey. They are proper sports, don't get me wrong. But, like, a proper outdoors Yeah, you mean outdoors. So it should be good. I don't think it would be as good as the motor. Oh. Sorry guys, I actually started crying so we kind of lost our train of thought there. We're just driving around in a car park and I'll just keep, keep moving because he likes to be kept moving. Yeah, the motion keeps him yeah. asleep. <laughs> um, so we kind of lost our train of thought but basically um, I think it comes down to a lot of Brits having that pride in their own sports teams. Um, so we just secretly don't want to admit how excited they yeah. pretend you could be to experience a different American yeah. atmosphere. Definitely. So, move on to number two. Um, I think this is a big one for us. We've kind of said it so much on the channel that we can't wait for this. But oh, I reckon, so I reckon secretly a lot of Brits want to try this as well, um, which is barbecue. Not specifically Texas barbecue, just American just barbecue. American barbecue. Um, we just our barbecue is just not the same. But I think a lot of Britain, British people do love their own barbecues. Thing I think is, it's like Australians with barbecues. I don't know, I, I can't comment on, I know we're typical Australian yeah. barbecue, like stereotype, but I feel like until we did these reaction videos, what I thought a barbecue was, was you pull your garden barbecue out, you whack a bit of chicken on there, just a bit yeah. of random chicken, maybe a bit of beef, mm -hmm. a sausage, burn your sausages, yeah. you get your meat cooked, whack it in a pan, you have a burger, yeah. you have some a little bit of chicken, you have burnt sausages. That and is a British barbecue. That is really nice. But compared to what we've seen, but what we've seen. So before we saw these videos, 
Oh, I was quite happy with my little barbecue. I thought that was a nice little, you know, little hot dog in a bun with a little bit of chicken on the side. It's nice. Bit of salad. Yeah. And then I saw like we saw like Texas barbecue or even just any barbecue. You guys do it right. You, you cook just... the meat for twelve hours to but create it. It's perfect. not even the meat. Like for me, a good barbecue has good sides. Yeah, you've got good sides. Like as well. you've got so many good options, and like I feel like there's no. If you want it, you can get it in America. Yeah, definitely. And people know how to do it well. Yeah. But I feel like your average person in America knows you know how, how to, to do barbecue. a good barbecue. Yeah. Whereas in the UK, we just, like I say, burn some sausages, yeah. put a few burger patties on, happy days. Mm -hmm. And everyone's happy with that. But I'm not as happy anymore with that. And I can't wait. Like I said, we've never tried it. But from what we've seen, yeah. it looks incredible. Definitely. And I feel like a lot of Brits will see it like, oh, American barbecue is not like... Can't be as good can't as Can't be as good as that. As we love a barbecue. It's just so naive to say that. But then I think Seek of like, oh mm. my God, this food is either amazing yeah. when they try it, or it looks amazing, I want to try it. Yeah. Um, like some people are like, maybe they'd say they downplay it because maybe they know they, they're not going to have it. Like they're not going to go to America anytime. Yeah. So it's like, well, I don't want to get my hopes up for something like that. So I'll just but, downplay it. Well, I, bet not like, oh, I, I bet it's not that good. I bet it's not that good. Definitely. Um, so, it's just that pride, isn't it, really, yeah. as well? So yeah, we are really excited to try it. We can't yeah. wait. Oh, I can't wait. So um, soon as it's there, I can in, see it. Like I say, in May, you guys will be seeing videos of us trying mm -hmm. barbecue for the first time. Yeah. I'm so excited. I am so excited. So moving on to number three, um, this one's a little bit controversial. Controversial. It's controversial. Not really controversial because we're so we'll get into it. It's um, shooting a gun. I think um, a in lot a, of not a, It's not a driving range. <laughs> not a, oh yeah, not in a driving range. <laughs> in a firing range, a gun range, a gun sight. It's in a safe environment, obviously. Mm -hmm. but I think a lot of Brits, well, a lot will potentially like we don't comment on guns. Like we don't have an opinion on it. It's not our place. It doesn't affect our daily on. life. However, unfortunately, a lot of people in Britain, a lot of people all over the world comment on things which doesn't affect them mm -hmm. and they want to have an opinion which isn't always bad to have an opinion no. but that's just not how we roll no. um, but I think a lot of them have this opinion of guns are really bad guns are super scary we would never want to do that but I also think because I'm so intrigued just to feel the feeling of shooting a gun in a safe environment uh -huh. the power of it experience that I think a lot of us even over say this stuff secretly want to give it a go in these I environments. I think so because I feel like I feel like maybe before I would be like oh I'm never going to a sh I'm never going to a fire range like I'm never doing that oh, but yeah, that sounds so that. scary yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. and then now I'm like actually this is probably one of the things I'm looking forward to on the trip. Oh I'm really looking forward to um, it. Um, just, so we've never done it it's, it's just not completely yeah, different. It's not in it's not in the average British person's Lifetime probably probably people go like like a whole lifetime without even going to a firing range. Oh, one hundred percent without even holding. A I'm sure like, they do in America have, too. Like I'm sure people in America do too. But I feel like it's it's a bigger like oh my god if you haven't fired a gun over there. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think it is, you're more likely like, to come across yeah, or have the opportunity has, to do it. Then definitely. who hasn't? Whereas in the um, UK you just don't get that opportunity. No, so I feel like that's why it's a it's a big culture difference, um, and that's why I think a lot of a lot of British people would would want to try it. I think I think a lot of people, yeah. And, they might I don't not say they do, but they, they probably do. Yeah, and I, whether they enjoy it or not, I don't know. Yeah. I might say we're, we're, I, we're I not commenting see, on I think they secretly do. politics or anything like that, because I, I am really looking forward to doing it. I don't know how I'm going to react. I don't know how it's going to feel. But, we've ooh, dropped ooh, you. We, we dropped you, guys. There we go. We're, we're not editing them this one, only the cuts. Um, but it's super exciting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it and is. It's different. Yeah. I think you can only do for us at least in America. Like, yeah. Maybe there's other countries what we can do it in. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. America is one. Definitely. Um, so our final one, number four, is fast food. Ooh, yeah. Now I feel like every I feel like everybody is so stereotypical. You guys know this is a stereotype of your own country, but everybody says, Oh, fast food. Why like America oh, all they have is fast food. Why well, do you just want to sit there and eat fast food all the time? I'm happy with this. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> and me and James are like, right, how many fast food places can we go to? Like, how many can we go to? <laughs> how many can we get on the list? But I think they're just jealous. I think it comes down to we haven't got the variety. 
we haven't got the all the options i mean but i feel like if you're that poor because we, we have a lot of them in the uk like, oh you don't want to go somewhere for fast food or whatever which again i don't get if you like the food you like the food exactly. i get it, it's not helpful for you all the time don't go all yeah, the time but, like, uh, but why judge someone for going yeah. but i feel like if them people end up in america and see like a sonic or something like that we'll go chick-fil-a or chick-fil-a oh, chick oh that's so american the intrigue you i want to go and give that a go you're gonna try it. whether they think they're gonna like it whether they think it's unhealthy i think it's a case of i need to give that a go yeah, it's a trying thing uh, yeah. and again that's that secret like that they potentially talk bad about it which again we don't Definitely. i'm so excited to try Definitely. all the food i am so um, but i think a few but yeah i think it's the i think it's the the blinded judgment that people have yeah definitely but i think that comes with intrigue yeah, as well and i think but then i think i think in in that would take over yeah definitely that would take over and also like if you walk past chick-fil-a you ain't stopping me yeah if we walk past chick-fil-a we are going we we have got one plan yeah. on a day when we're doing walmart and stuff yeah. like that when we come to so, america um yeah. so i think i think that's i think that's kind of it but we thought of a few more which we could have extended the list but at the end of the day we were, we were doing this quick video you we don't only, want to drag we, it out we we're, not, we're not in the business of dragging a video you out just to get 20 points in or yeah. seven points in we fought a four these were the four, four which strong was. ones for us so yeah you know what i could see a yeah. brit secretly wanting to do this and when i say secretly yes they'll be open about it but like not screaming and shouting maybe having the other, other opinion but then actually going and doing it and stuff like that definitely uh if any more come to us let us know if you want to see a part two if you want to see any other videos like this maybe not in the car yeah let us, let us know, know as well uh, but of course if you did like the car one let us know that too because we have got a new baby so yeah we are in the car a lot i can tell the wipers off now i've stopped raining yeah. uh, <laughs> but they were I, well annoying they were probably so annoying so i apologize for that this um, is us guys though this is us so yeah we just chat away hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you so have, make sure you like this one yes yeah, we'd appreciate it smash that subscribe button as well if you want to check out patreon would appreciate that because within the next week we will be trying peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and we will hope we'll be putting it early access on patreon yeah. hopefully a couple days and then if you if you stay on patreon so we are going to america and we don't have, we'll have so many in may we'll have so many videos coming out and every video we have will be two days early access on patreon and that'll be starting may uh, but we'll have quite a lot of videos if you have enjoyed this guys we're hopefully going to go and get rtc in bed now aren't we yes smash that like button guys smash that subscribe button absolute legend to watch the video have a fantastic day and we'll see you later in the next one peace